Can looking at a computer screen make your ears stop working? This is a question I ask myself almost every day because I recently moved in with my boyfriend, Aidan, and I love living with him, but <laughs> we've been arguing recently about the third party that we have in our relationship, his PlayStation. When Aiden plays the PlayStation, it's like the world around him disappears. He doesn't hear me calling him, he doesn't hear the doorbell. I'm slightly concerned I could be murdered in the house and he may not notice if he was playing the PlayStation. Now, I think he's choosing to ignore me. He says he honestly didn't hear anything. And so I ask myself, can looking at a computer screen make your ears stop working? Being a psychologist, I decided to take a look in Aiden's brain. <laughs> and <laughs> Under normal circumstances, if I called Aidan's name, we would see something like this. So his ears would receive the sound of my voice, send a signal through his brain. This would make him consciously aware of me calling him, and he could answer me. So, so far, domestic bliss in our house. But <laughs> now imagine he's playing the PlayStation and I call him. Watch what happens to his brain activity now. Not very much at all, really. The signal here is a fraction of what it was before. It's a little bit like turning your phone on silent. The phone is still ringing, but it's much harder for you to detect it. Aiden may be completely unaware that I've said anything, because at a neural level, he's suffering from deafness. The computer screen really has made his ears stop working. So why does this happen? Well, we have a limited amount of attention, and it works across all our senses. So in this case, the PlayStation is placing so much demand on his attention that he simply doesn't have the resources to process the sound of my voice. This is called inattentional deafness, and it's completely involuntary. So if looking at something can make you go deaf, is it possible that listening to something could make you go blind? This might seem mad, but this is something I looked at in my PhD, looking at driving behavior. So I had drivers drive in a driving simulator while listening to a roadwatch on the radio. And their job was to listen out, as many of you probably have, for traffic updates on the M50. <laughs> and I, about halfway through the drive, I had really sneakily placed a huge 30-foot elephant on the footpath. And I afterwards, I asked them had they seen it. And 90% of people listening to the radio fail to see this huge elephant. And again, this is because the radio task took up so much of their attention that they simply didn't have the resources to process what they were seeing, though they likely looked directly at the elephant for a number of seconds. They were blind, and they had no idea it had happened. This seems mad to us, because we think that we see and hear everything that goes on around us. But if we live in a world where a PlayStation can make you deaf and a radio can make you blind, just ask yourself, what else might you have missed today? Thanks. Well done, Ian.